Hi, my name is Sarah, and I've had Lyme for about um, 11 or 12 years. It was about 2004 when I first went to the doctor and uh, thought I had the flu that just wouldn't go away, and they did a Lyme test for me. Uh, I work in the woods as an arborist, so they thought it was a high possibility that I had Lyme, uh, but the test came back negative, so they ruled that out, said get some sleep, drink more water, um, still felt bad. Um, did some more testing, couldn't find anything, had uh, pain in my hands, and went to rheumatoid uh, for rheumatoid arthritis for milk, um, and they didn't find anything wrong. Uh, then I started having stomach problems, and a couple of years after that, uh, went to GI doctors, they couldn't find anything wrong, um, tried some different diets, uh, still had problems. Then um, in 2012, I had another tick bite that was swollen, so they gave me doxycycline, um, and I felt good. After you know about three weeks on that, I started to feel good, felt great, thought I was cured. Um, and then about a year after that, started having problems again, numbness in my face, um, tingling in my arms. I actually thought I was having a heart attack and went to the, the emergency room. They couldn't find anything wrong. MRIs um, came back negative for problems in my brain. Still had facial numbness. It just went downhill rapidly after that. Um, I had fatigue, couldn't get out of bed. Um, I had trouble taking care of my kids and had to rely on my husband for a lot of things. I had pain and achiness. Um, quality of life was terrible. and. Um, I, then I started having really bad GI problems, could barely eat anything. I was on antibiotics for a year for Lyme um, through uh, a different doctor um, that wasn't working at all. Um, so then I came to find Dr. Wine and um, here I am today feeling mm. much better. <laughs> what um, you were you were, I remember vividly when you came in, I mean, you were just, you, you had no life, I mean, especially you were very upset because you really couldn't spend any time with your kids. Um, uh, how much better are you now? I mean, it's 12 weeks, so you're a little bit past now because uh, we're about 14 weeks or so and after uh, you started. How much better are you? Um, I'm significantly better as far as all of my Lyme. I had skin sensitivity and, and fatigue and all that and, and most of those are all gone so that portion of it is very high. I still have some lingering neurological stuff which you know takes a long time to regenerate but on the whole I'm like 85 percent better. Um, I can enjoy my life <laughs> a lot more than before I was and I think that if I continue to come through the maintenance here and work on some of the other things that are um, messing up my digestion that I will be 100%. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, you and I talked about this earlier, but how is it? Uh, how how happy are your kids? Oh, my kids, they they love it. Um, you know, I'm able to spend more time with them and go for walks and read books and things without uh, being grumpy and falling asleep in the middle of it and things like that. So, um, kids definitely see a happier mom, and uh, my husband's also happy. <laughs> I'm getting better. Sarah, tell me. There's a lot of people watch the videos. Um, they've, I did that too, yeah. <laughs> they've had the same things that you, antibiotics and a hundred other doctors. It's real hard to believe that somebody has actually found a solution uh, for Lyme disease. What would you tell some other people that are watching this video right now to help them to get in here and get well? I would say take the step to do it. Um, there's only positive things that are happening here to your body, so you know what's the worst that can happen. Um, it's much better for your body than taking any of the antibiotics. Um, you know, I eat better now. I take care of myself better, so there's no downsides to doing it. And if you look at all the money you spend on all these other tests and things that don't even work, you know, this while it seems maybe a little bit expensive up front when you have to come in to do it, and that was a drawback for me, but I find that it's worth it. Um, you know, just the care provided and all the benefits that come from it is only only healthy, so I would say go for it um, and, and come do it. Just take the step. It is time commitment and there's, you know, 
some diet things that have to happen that are difficult, but in the whole it's better for you and I just learned so much about myself in general. It's only positive things from that.